I've spoken to hundreds of online fitness coaches that have actually had a bad experience when it comes to running Facebook ads. And they usually say Facebook ads don't work for their online fitness business. Now, before I ran millions and millions of dollars through Facebook ads, I actually fought this as well. When we first started our coaching business, we actually hired a marketing agency to help us scale with Facebook ads. We were super excited to get started because we believed and we were confident that it was gonna generate us a ton of leads, sales, and revenue for our online business. We spent thousands and thousands of dollars with this agency and it absolutely bombed. It didn't work and we didn't generate the leads, the sales, and the revenue for our business. We were very discouraged and at that point, I really thought, do Facebook ads really work? That's when I decided to take things into my own hands. I saw all these other coaches and online fitness business scaling with Facebook ads and I knew there must be a way, but I had to be in control of that. We'd given control to an agency before we were ready and really we needed to refine the process and work it out for ourselves. Essentially, we found several secrets that make Facebook ads so profitable for online fitness business and that's what I'm gonna share in this video today. Let's dive straight in. Imagine you've got a fitness shop, so a bricks and mortar shop, and it's on a little side street tucked away from the main high street. Now, you've got the shop, you've got the products, and you've got the branding, but you've not got the traffic or you've not got the footfall coming past. This is because you're not on the high street where everyone's walking past and coming into the high street shops. So if you want to get customers, you're going to want to be on the high street where everyone sees your shop. The same is true when it comes to Facebook ads, because your targeting might be off. You might have an amazing product and service, an amazing ad, but your targeting is just way off and you're not putting it in front of the right people. So those people aren't coming into your online business like they're not coming into your little shop on the side street. And this can massively affect the profitability of Facebook ads. It can get very, very expensive very quickly if you're not putting your ad in front of the right people. So in order to run profitable Facebook ads, you need to know two things. And the first thing is you need to know exactly who you're trying to target on Facebook. You really need to understand your target market. So how do you do that? The first thing you want to do is really understand the demographics of that audience. So their age, their status, whether it's they're married or they're single, whether they've got kids or even what sex they are. The second thing is looking at geographic locations. So where are they in the world? And the final thing, and probably the most important, is looking at the psychographic details of your target audience. So their interest, hobbies, and anything that they read or look at or watch. The next part of really having profitable Facebook ads and dialing in that targeting is knowing how to set that ad up on Facebook. Now, Facebook has got very, very sophisticated over the last years with their algorithm and needs less tinkering with the settings and more just letting it do its thing. So when it comes to your Facebook ads, do not overcomplicate it. Just really let Facebook put that ad in front of the right people for you by letting the settings stay the same. The next element to profitable online fitness Facebook ads is really your hook. And the best way to describe this is really talking about fishing. So when you go fishing, you load your bait onto your rod and you cast your rod out into a lake. And then you wait for some time and you see if you catch any fish. Now, if you don't catch any fish, then your bait is probably not working and you need to reel it back in and swap it out. Then you cast your rod back in and you try again. Once the fish start biting, you know you've got the right bait. So when it comes to fitness Facebook ads, it's essentially the same thing. You're trying to identify the best bait for your online fitness business to reel in those leads and prospects for your business. You're trying to capture that audience's attention and look for the clicks and the click throughs to your landing page. And sometimes with Facebook ads, the first ad with your hook might not work and that's okay. All you need to do is reel it back in and switch it out. You may not have to completely rebuild it but just repackage that hook to see if you could cast that back out and capture that audience that you're looking for again you're not going to launch a fitness facebook campaign straight away and get insane results it takes time exactly like fishing that's why i don't do it because you have to sit there all day but when it comes to facebook ads you may have to keep trying you may get a profitable campaign on your fifth attempt or your sixth attempt, but be patient and keep tweaking things one thing at a time to see if you can cast out your rod and catch those leads and prospects for your online fitness business. So I hear a lot of stories about back in the day when Facebook ads first came out and apparently it was so easy to not only put an ad up, but also get insane results with Facebook ads. And this is really down to market sophistication. It was a new product and you didn't have to be 
super, super experience to launch an ad and get results. Now gone are those days, so now you have to really be a little bit more sophisticated with your Facebook ads and position them in the correct way. The market is getting smashed with so many different ads and is getting more sophisticated to when they see an ad. And these days, if someone's gonna give them your details, so a name, an email, or a phone number, they're only really gonna do it if they're interested in what you're offering and there's value there. If you're offering something of value to that market, what tends to happen is that person will give you something back. And like I mentioned, that might be their name, email or phone number. This is why it's so important to really understand your target market and what they want, i.e. the hook, and then present them something of value so that you can exchange that contact information and market them from there. Over the years, we've figured out various hooks and offers that work very, very well in the fitness space, but that doesn't always stay true forever. You have to stay up to date with the market and keep refreshing your offers and hooks so that you keep bringing in that new audience and you're giving them something of value that they haven't seen before. Either you have to be very, very good at creating hooks and offers, or you need to be working with a marketing agency that really understands your business and understands fitness marketing. So it's not as simple as just running a Facebook ad to a landing page, and then that will generate leads, prospects, and revenue for your business. You have to start looking off Facebook, and this is where you have to look at your nurturing process, because leads don't just come into your business straight away and buy from you. And I see a lot of online fitness professionals struggling in this section because a lot of agencies don't look at this process. Imagine walking into a coffee shop and walking through the door and just announcing to anyone, hi, my name's David, would you like to buy my online fitness programs? No one would probably take you up on that offer because they don't know you, they don't potentially probably like you and they don't trust you yet. And this is where a solid nurturing process comes into play. You don't just bring someone into your network and then make an offer straight away. Like you don't just walk into a coffee shop and announce your services and ask if anyone wants to work with you. What you have to do is really build up that rapport. So have conversations with people, understand them and understand their pain problems and what keeps them up at night. Once you know those things, you can really then build that rapport and help them with their goals, desires and where they want to go. And the same is true with a nurturing process you have to take them through a nurturing process to build that rapport with them online. So one thing we do with all of our agency clients is we run Facebook traffic, we also run it to a landing page, but then we look at a nurturing process in email, SMS, and Facebook Messenger, because in those channels, we can really have conversations with people and build that rapport and take them through that nurturing sequence to potentially make them clients for their business. So once you get your targeting, your hook, your value proposition and your nurturing process set up in your online fitness business, you'll really gather a lot of momentum. You're going to see a lot of people come into your network and you're gonna have a lot of conversations where people are gonna to want to work with you directly. And once you have this, this really helps your online fitness business grow and scale. In fact, if you're looking to scale your business well over $10,000 a month, it's worth saying that Facebook ads can very much help you do this. It allows you to bring more people into your network and really plug them into your nurturing machine to get them through that sequence and really help you get more clients for your online fitness business. Because if you're just relying on your current organic strategy, you might not have enough leads and prospects in your business. And if you're looking to grow to bigger revenue numbers, you really need to put a lot of people into that machine to grow to those revenue numbers. So that's where Facebook ads come into play and they really allow you to scale out to more people to really help you scale your online fitness business. And it's worth saying that we've had so much success with online fitness ads for our agency clients. So much so that one of our clients recently got a two comma club award from ClickFunnels. Now, if you don't know what a two comma club award is, it's for running a million dollars through a single funnel. Funnel. And he's run probably two to three hundred thousand dollars through Facebook ads to generate those leads for his business. So as you can see, it's highly profitable and highly scalable for online fitness coaches. If you're serious about taking your online fitness business to the next level, and you want to either start, grow, or scale your online fitness business, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on how to hire a fitness marketing agency. In this video, I talk about when is the right time to hire a fitness marketing agency for your business. So be sure to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.